Hey, the old rules here, and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. So, um, between last time I went and leveled up my Vaporeon and Jolteon to level 24, and I caught a few more Eevees, I actually need to go to the shop right now. Um, because I want to sell the pearls that I have so I can get money to get the, uh, power stones. What I did was I just went to a random fishing spot and just fished up, uh, pearls, um, and big pearls until I felt like I had enough. And I only have one of those, so give it that. And I also picked up a few heart scales. I'll hold on to them, although I'm pretty sure only one Pokemon um, evolves with it. At least one that I know of, which I can't even do the evolution for that one. It's Feebos, but you have to trade it while it's holding a heart scale to get its um, upgrade. And that also means that somebody has to trade you a Feebos that's holding a heart scale, and I can't trade unless somebody gets these um, Citra emulator and trades with me. But anyway, now that I have that, um, I need a Firestone. So I'm gonna buy, um, I already have a Firestone, but I think I need another one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save my money. I can always come back here later with um, Charizard if I need to. So. Nice. Okay, I'm just missing one more, which is another uh, terrain-related um, um, evolution, like with Leafeon. Um, Flareon, the flame Pokemon fire. When it catches prey or finds berries, it breathes fire on them until they're well done, then gobbles them up. And of course, you want to learn a fire move. You want to learn Ember. Okay. Let's replace something you have with the Ember. Hmm. Ember, 4100. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, get rid of Quick Attack. Okay, now that I've done that, I'll move Ash to the front of my party, and I'll go ahead and um, grab a bunch of Pokemon that would be good for the next area. We're going to Memorial Hill and the Ruins of Life, which I think has mainly ghost-type Pokemon, so let me make sure that I grab some Pokemon that would be good for that. Okay, here's a Pokemon that I don't have yet. Love Disc. I got this by fishing over by the uh, fisherman I fought last time. Apparently there is a fishing spot over here. For some reason I thought there wasn't. But let's go ahead and have you use um, Ember to weaken it. Lucky Chant. I think that raises the chance of it... Um, shielded, shielded from critical hits. I knew it was related to critical hits. But, um, I wasn't sure how, to be honest. Okay, let's use Tail Whip. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, that should be good enough. Ah, oh, it's okay, so it has agility. Of course it does. Nice! Okay, let's use Ember again. Yep, 
Yeah, Lucky Champ will wear off after five turns, um, in case you're wondering. Um, let's have you use Sand Attack. I'll just let its burn um, tick down its health. See, Lucky Champ just wore off. And I put it right back up. You sand attack one more time. Oh, apparently I don't have to. But just for good measure, I guess. It one more time once its health gets down into the red, I'll throw a great ball, should be good enough, I would think. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and use. Um, oh, wait, I can use a dive ball actually. Where are my dive balls? Nice. Love this data will be added to the Pokedex. That what I was about to say, I think it only has one form. Nice. Love Disk, the rendezvous Pokemon, water type. If Love Disk is left on its own, it becomes despondent, leaving itself open to attack. That's when Pelipper snatched them up. Ooh. Would you like to give Love Disk a name? Yes, I do. Male. Um. Hmm. I'll go with Tammy. I think that works, right? Actually, wait, no. Let's go with Tommy, actually. Um, I'll add you to my party. I'll swap you with Matilda. Okay, there is one more fishing Pokemon to get, Corsola, and actually in the SOS Pokemon it calls in, but it's such a rare encounter that I'm not going to worry about it, but I just realized I didn't talk to all the NPCs in the um, Poke Center. Hey, you, you've got Rotom decks, haven't you? Then I've got the perfect job for you. What do you say? Will you take me up on it? Sure. I'm an employee of a place called the Aether Foundation. We're doing a survey right now of a Pokemon called Passimian, which lives in Lush Jungle. Well, luckily I have that one. But I've had no luck finding any of them, and I'm in a real tight spot now. Real tough spot now. If you happen to catch a Passimian, would you show me the data from your Pokedex? If you help me out, I can pay you for your work. Sure. You caught a Passimian? Then will you show me your dex? So that's it. There are things that we couldn't figure out from the data the Foundation had collected. I forget what Passimian's Pokedex entry said, but I feel like it wasn't that interesting to read. Thanks a lot. Here, this is for you. Five thousand- Wow! Nice! Now we know a bit more about how Passimian lives out in nature. Thanks for helping out with the Aether Foundation's efforts. You're welcome. But anyway, let's head to um, the Ruins of Life, like we were instructed to. We have to go through Memorial Hill, which I think is swarming with trainers, if I'm not mistaken. The mighty families of Old Alola rest beneath these graves here. Maybe they want to stay close to the Tapu. When my own time comes, I hope I'll be able to put to rest the same grave- I'll be put to rest in the same grave as my good Rockruff. 
<laughs> Your rock rush seems sad about the fact that you said that. Oh, hey, I found a heal powder. Cool. Yeah, I would I would check the graves here. Some of them have stuff. Alright, I already stopped. Okay, so this guy is a trainer, but as you can see, he has his back to you, so you this is an optional fight, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I thought I'd have a little gander at the ruins of life, but there's one thing to do first. Okay. You're challenged by Gentleman Smith, who has an Umbreon Dark type. Okay. Ooh, that was a unique looking Pokeball. I forget what Pokeball that is. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. So, oh wow, I just now noticed the level of the level of his uh, Umbreon. Wow. Um, I might have to switch Tommy out. You might be able to KO uh, Tommy in one hit. But yeah, that's not going to be enough. Um, who do I want to switch to? Hmm. I guess I'll switch out to my own Umbreon. Okay, I got scared that he was going to use Pursuit. Oh, you still have Quick Attack. Interesting. Well, the only thing I can use is Swift. And Swift can't miss, so I don't really care about being confused. Well, I do a little bit because Eric could still slap himself. Please. Eric, please. Well. Okay, yeah, thank you. Well, this is going to take a while. Do I have somebody that can actually deal damage to you? Um... I'm going to switch out to Mark real quick. Let's see. Um, use Fake Out. Jeez, your Umbreon is like, has a really good defense stat. Jeez. Let's use Screech. Mark, do you screech at least one more time? Come on. Thanks to Mark's uh, special ability, which is Velvet Fur, I think is what it's called. It um, lowers the effect of physical attacks that requires the Pokemon to smash into him. It lowers the damage by half. My Snuffle has an ability that's very similar as well that does the same thing. Um, so let's go ahead and use Swift at this point. Really, Mark? There we go. Now let's just keep doing this until, you know, I can't lower your defense anymore.
You screech again. Mark's really taking a beating here. Oh, the defense won't go any lower. Okay. And Swift is probably gonna use baby doll eyes on me or not. I'm going to switch Mark out in a second. No! Fine. You want to fully restore your Pokemon? I'll do the same. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. I was scared that he was going to use a full restore again. He did not. Okay, finally, this fight is over. Please hit him. Okay, thank you. Wow. Wow, that was a lot of experience. Water Pulse, yes. I will replace your water gun with Water Pulse. Nice. Quite skillfully done. 4,600 Poké Dollars for winning. Wow, I'm getting so much money in this episode. Tapu Lele visits the ruins of life. It's considered to be the vi the vital vitalizing Pokemon. Sorry, I can't read. Jeez. I wanted to inspect the tombstone, not talk to you. Okay, apparently there's nothing over here. Okay, cool. So let's uh, continue, I suppose. Ooh, an adrenaline orb. Nice. Okay, I see how to get to that tombstone over there, but first I want to come over here and check this. Super Repel. Nice. What happens to a Pokemon's consciousness when it's been put into a PC box? To be conscious, you must be awake and aware of the world around you, wouldn't you say? But, po but are Pokemon awake when they are in a PC box, or are they sleeping? I wish I could go into a box to find out. Uh... Do you, though? <laughs> That's an interesting question, though, which, you know, 
people also extend that question to the Pokeballs themselves. Because as far as I understand it, the Pokeballs and probably PC boxes will break down the Pokemon into its DNA code. So I assume that it's not conscious, but at the same time, I don't know. Okay, just making sure that I remember to heal because I got sidetracked talking to her. Um, I need to move Ash to the front of my party because he's the lowest level Pokemon I have right now. Okay, so let's continue through here. I guess I didn't have to fight him, but I'm going to do it anyway. People in graves are sleeping forever, right? Yes. You're challenged by preschooler Liam. Who's letting a preschooler hang out in a graveyard? Jigglypuff. Okay. Okay, let's go. Level 21. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if anybody has something that's super effective. Okay, Doug does. And he's the only one, so Doug, you're up. Use Disable. I haven't used anything yet, though. So, hmm. I would hate if it disabled Metal Claw, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, so close to being a one-shot. Okay, then. I think Disarming Voice has the ability to charm or confuse, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, nice. Hey, Ash leveled up again. Wants to learn the move Bite. Um, let's see. Hmm, I'll replace baby doll eyes with bite. Hey, Tommy leveled up too. Nice. Oh, so did Mark. Mark wants to learn the move taunt. Should an old move be forgotten and replaced with taunt? Um Taunt into a region allows it to use only attack moves for three turns. Hmm. No, I think I'm good with the uh, moveset that you have, Mark. Hey, Eric leveled up to level 25 too. He wants to learn the move Assurance. If the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack's power is doubled. Hmm. So it'd be like if the Pokemon went first and used Takedown, which has recoil damage, and then I used Assurance, it would deal double damage. But it would have to be a move like that, and I don't know if they use that frequently enough for me to warrant getting this one. So I think I'm going to skip it. I'll have to send in Ledian. Um... I'm gonna keep battling. Oh, okay. I completely forgot who that was. Okay, yeah, I have this Pokemon. I know which one this is. Um, so, Ash would be best because you have a fire type move. Or, I could use Rhea. Um, I'll switch out to Ash real quick. Actually, that might be a mistake because, um, because of the level difference. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. I'm not worried anymore. Okay, use Ember. Use Reflect. Need the opponent seems stronger against physical moves. Okay, well, this is not a physical move, so... By physical move, it means something where you have to slam into the opponent, so tackle and things like that. Hmm. 
Mark Punch. Okay, well, Ash's stats are actually better than I thought they were. It's nice when the NPCs don't understand that you can't use Reflect again until it wears off. Ooh, nice. Actually, yeah, his stats are really good. Look at that. Wow. Hey, Doug grew to level 25. Wants to learn the move Mud Bomb. Um, what, how much damage does this do? 65 with 85 accuracy. Hmm. It's better than Mud Slap, and I think it's the same effect as Mud Slap. Yeah, it's a better version of Mud Slap, so let's do that. Lower accuracy, but I'll take it. Hey, Rayo grew to level 25. Nice. Wants to learn the move Crunch. The user crunches up the target with sharp fangs. This may also lower the target's defense down. Hmm. I think I'll get rid of String Shot. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting sleepy. 264 Poke Dollars for winning. Hmm, Clinton's tag. What in the world is that? An item to be held by a Pokemon. It helps keep wild Pokemon away if the holder is the head of the party. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Something else that's interesting. Um, Doug, why did you not evolve? Don't you evolve at level 25? At least I thought Diglett evolved at level 25. It's level 26. Oh, okay. Oh. Cool. Man. Let's see, do I need to heal up my Pokemon at all? Hmm. Not really. I do need to go put the level 25s away in the PC box, so I'll be right back after I've done that. Okay, I switched out my Pokemon, but I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rolls, signing off. Talk to you later.